Hi everyone, my name is Anne Cleary and I live in Tauranga with my husband Glenn and my little budgie Lemon. Um, I'm a fiction writer of both short stories and novels and I write stories about quirky people, about dysfunctional characters and the difficult situations they find themselves in. Um, I've been published in magazine, magazines such as Mind Food and um, The People's Voice and eLocal, which is an online magazine, and um, some oh, American publications, mm -hmm. Trickster's Treats, and Guilty Pleasures. Um, I've won a national writing competition, and I... Um, this is my um, novel, well, manuscript of my novel, The Sea Glass Box, which has just recently been edited, and I'm going to send that to lots of publishers. See how I go. Um, okay, so I've, um, oh, my um, writing tip for you, if you're not already, is to be an observer, so a people watcher. Um, so you carry around a little notebook. And it's very handy for writing down um, things that you see, ordinary everyday things that you see, which um, which you can use in stories. You will be amazed at things that you notice. Uh, the blonde guy in the bucket hat with the pineapples on his shirt. Um, the old lady in pack and save wearing orthopedic stockings and smelling of stale perfume. Um, the nurse with her clean white shoes squeaking on a polished floor. Um, all of these things are just so normal, but if you use, if you write them down, you can use them in stories later on. And um, use all your, uh, use all the senses too in story, touch, taste, smell, sight, sound. Um, the most evocative is apparently smell, so give your readers something to smell. Um, so, good stories are about interesting characters with um, with lots of substance to them. So, the task I have for you is to um, to find a picture in a magazine or newspaper and to write a character profile of that person. So, really look at them. What are they telling you? Like, what do you think their name might be? Um, what do they like doing? Where do they come from? Do they come from a happy family or a family where there's lots of trouble going on? Um, do they have siblings? Um, what do they do for work or what kind of school do they go to? So the more you write about that person, the more the ideas will flow and you'll really get to know them and you might even be able to use that character in one of your stories later on. So, um, that, yeah, good luck with your writing and have fun and thank you for listening.